All right, Arrow fans, time to take a look at the second episode of the day, which is The Fallen. The episode opens with Theon on the floor, clinging to life after a racist attack. Oliver gets her and rushes his sister to the hospital. Thea briefly flatlines, but doctors are able to bring her back. Later, the doctors tell Oliver that while Thea, while Thea is technically alive, she may not ever regain consciousness and asks him to consider taking her off life support. Malcolm arrives at the room and weeps at Thea's side. In her Hong Kong flashback, Oliver and Miss Tatsu watch General Shreve arm the bioweapon. Dougal and Felicity arrive at the hospital to try and try to comfort Oliver. He looks up the room and sees purple smoke. He tells him he's won. Oliver goes to Maceo, who tells him if he's who tells him that if, who tells him that if he becomes the next race, the current race will save Thea. There are apparently special waters at Nanda Parba that could bring back the dead. Malcolm says that even if Thea is brought back to life, she will be fundamentally changed. Plus, he asks Palmer if they can use his jet to bring Thea to Nanda Prabhat. He tells her that he now realizes she still has feelings for Oliver. She doesn't deny it. I guess Malcolm's wishes. Oliver, Malcolm, Diggle, and Felicity head for Nanda Prabhat in Palmer's plane. In the flashback, Oliver and Maceo Tatsu pursue the truck carrying the bioweapon in a stolen car. He intends to take control of the truck, but find the weapon is missing. The party arrives in Nanda Prabhat and find Raisha and Raish and the entire league waiting for them. Our ceremony begins and Thea is lowered into the waters. Within moments, she comes flying out, acting almost like a wild animal. She is sedated and Raish tells Oliver it's time for him to fulfill his end of the arrangement. When Thea wakes up, she doesn't recognize Oliver, but she really calls Malcolm Dad. Both Malcolm and Felicity think that what they've done is wrong. Felicity tells Raish she and her friends are not going to let this happen to Oliver. Rach tells her that she needs to tell Oliver how much she loves him, followed by a goodbye. Felicity tries to remind Oliver how much good he's done, followed by expressing her love for him. They kiss and begin to undress. Ooh. In the flashback, one of Shree's men tells them the weapon is in a food cart. Felicity and Oliver share a drink. She immediately, apo she immediately apologizes. Oliver loses consciousness. She says, I can't lose you. I won't. Dougal and Malcolm think she's made a huge mistake, and there's no way they can get out. No way they can get out alive. Malcolm suggests early chances through the catacombs. As they fight their way out, Maceo decides to help them by suggesting the best way out. They end up surrounded by League, sol League soldiers. Oliver gets them stand up by telling them he's the heir to Raish and will return. He put he put the rest of them on the plane and says he must stay behind. A confused Thea wakes up the next day. Malcolm explains what happened with her brother and the League. Felicity is tasked with telling Laurel that Oliver will not be returning. Oliver was Raish to leave his close friends alone. Once the other confesses to helping Oliver and offers Raish his life, Raish spares him, in part because Oliver will need him during the transformation process. In the flashback, Oliver and Tatsu end up in a huge fight in the market. Both wing of the vial is launched up in the air and smashes into the ground. The glistening ritual to wipe out Oliver Queen's past begins. He's given a large brand on his back. Moments later, we see him in the garb of a League of Assassins member. Dun dun dun. So now let's take a look at some trivia surrounding this episode. The Fountain of Youth is revealed to is revealed to act, is revealed actually as a Lazarus pit. Oliver finally accepts Rachel, finally accepts Rachel Gould's offer to become a successor, officially becoming a member of the League of Assassins, and is renamed Al Sahim, Arabic for the Arrow. After becoming a member of the League. Raish brands Oliver with an arrowhead on his back, which is revealed to be the same arrowhead used for the title card of Season 3. Felicity finally admits her love for Oliver in this episode. During a flashback sequence, Oliver touches him and says he a good soldier with the name Bamford on his jacket. This is an homage to James Bamford, one of the stunt coordinator for the series. Katie Cassidy's appearance in the broadcast version of the episode was cut, but she does appear in the promo pics. Oscar Baldorama makes a screenwriting debut. In addition, this episode marks Antonio Negret's first e first era episode. Rachel Gould's lecture to Felicity is very similar to the ending of "You Have Saved the City," with it bordering on foreshadowing. You know, many lifetimes ago, I loved a woman immeasurably, and she loved me, and we had a son and then a daughter. And for many years, I felt I was the most fortunate man in the world. My life was bliss. And one night, a man came to my door and gave me a, and he gave me a horrible choice. To leave without saying a word to them, or to sit and watch them tortured and then killed. 
and I left without a farewell, and spared them a pain. I endured an agony worse than death. Mm. And now finally, let's take a look at a, at a couple goofs. Or a goof, I should say. In the flashbacks, the car Oliver steals has the wrong driver's side, has the wrong side driver's seat cars. Bleh. The car Oliver steals has the wrong driver's seat for cars in Hong Kong. This car may be from mainland China. Mainland China, however, a car from mainland China can cross into Hong Kong with the driver's seat on the left, provided that they, that they have a Hong Kong license plate. Hmm. So while well, this episode is just so goddamn emotional and yeah, kind of, once again, you kind of feel bad for Oliver and stuff. So yeah, and also everyone else around him. So yeah. So overall, I give The Fallen five arrowheads out of five. Why don't we tune in a bit as we take a look at the final episode of the day, Al Sahim. So until then, in the words of Oliver Queen, you have failed this city.